Hello everyone and welcome to AI with Sohini where we talk about anything and everything AI. Today's question of the hour is, is artificial intelligence really taking away human jobs? And if that is true, is AI truly better than humans? Or is it just a cheaper version for the human labor that we are seeing today? Stay tuned for evidence, data, facts, and conclusion. So let's talk about when this panic truly began. Artificial intelligence or AI has been around for decades now. It has had different facelifts over the time, starting from robotics, autonomous drive, and now the great push around generative AI post the pandemic season. The true panic in and around generative AI truly started after the launch of ChatGPT in November of 2022, when it got the craze globally of having about a million users in just a single month of its launch. And for the first time, people saw that an automated system could write as equal or even better than what humans can typically do. Now, this was compounded by the post-pandemic era, where a lot of companies such as Salesforce in the recent times has announced about 4,000 people being laid off and the company doubling down on AI. So are the two really correlated? Is there a cause? What really is going on here? AI is the new electricity. This term was coined by Andrew Ng back in 2016 when he was comparing the advancements that artificial intelligence could bring about to that of the invention of electricity back in the 1880s. During the Industrial Revolution, there were tons of jobs which were truly around manual labor that were cut. Jobs such as lamplighters or the manual packaging and manufacturing jobs were done away with while automation floors were built around them. This led to a lot of medium skill labor, such as craftsmen, to be deprioritized and low skill production workers to be higher prioritized. A second such wave was observed in the 1980s with the advent of supercomputing, where a lot of human labor was done away with, such as shorthanding uh, or typewriting uh, or even your human computing as your computers made its wave. So this demonstrates that whenever there have been major technological advancements that has led to the retooling and the refocus around some of the areas in industry. Now let's look at an additional data point. Economic shift post a widespread pandemic. So if we look back into the data around the Spanish flu back in 1919, there was a huge surge in the global economic needs because of which it led to the roaring 20s and the eventual stock market crash back in the 1929. And that is the sort of economic shifts that can typically be expected when the whole world is reeling and recovering economically after a huge pandemic. Now let's look at the contributions of AI. According to the paper, The Turing Trap, which is published by Professor Eric Brynelson from Stanford back in 2022, he mentions that the best place for AI to thrive is in an area which is absolutely superlative to the human skills, which means if an AI can do tasks or jobs that humans just don't like to do or don't want to do, then that is the best place where artificial intelligence has its best usage. Take the instance of autonomous drive. While a lot of people do actually love driving, the preference for AI for autonomous drive did not really kick in. But a lot of us don't really like basic mundane tasks such as fact checking or uh, writing huge documents or reports, in which case generative AI has become truly engaging and useful for anybody who likes to utilize AI for their day to day jobs. In conclusion, a certain degree of jobs being cycled out is also the impact of the pandemic. However, AI has created concentrations. For instance, there are some startups that are being valued at insanely high amounts with regards to other startups that still have an interesting concept but are not really powered by AI at the moment. So there is definitely a disparity or a disbalance that has been created by AI. But it is really true that in today's day, access to AI and the different kind of models that we have at hand has made certain jobs to be more reliant on AI and being faster. So now a single paralegal can fact check for several lawyers in a firm just with the advent of AI. And that has caused certain redundancies in certain categories of jobs. But it is not 
meaning that the jobs have truly disappeared and AI is taking its part. It just means that now fewer people who are trained with AI are now going to be able to do their job better with the AI tools that are available to almost everybody. In short, AI is going to change the nature and the whole makeup of the working force that is in industry today. Just look at the huge change in the nature of AI jobs since 2023. At first, there used to be a lot of AI scientists and machine learning engineers, but now we see a lot of prompt engineers jobs uh, that you will see up in LinkedIn. So to work with AI or to retool with AI is the best strategy that any of us can do in order to make sure we are always weatherproofed for the job market. I hope you like this video.